What up, everybody? Brazen Caden, Season 3, Episode 6. Famous was in the booth spitting bars for his new song titled 411. In this song, he's basically confessing to killing Freddy and talking about putting three in his chest. Lewis filling Famous's rhymes and told Famous to keep going because he's spitting something real, so it's supposed to be scary. Then he went on to tell Famous that he's given his confession in the booth. When Famous got done recording, he was clearly bothered with the burden of killing Freddy becoming almost too much for him to carry. He tried confessing to Kanan, but Kanan didn't want to hear it and told Famous to bury that deep down and never bring it up again. So we can see the difference with Kanan's mentality moving forward in comparison to the mentality of Lou and Famous. How Kanan is able to kill his cousin and his son and not really feel any kind of emotion about it. While Lou and Famous don't have the ability to bury the pain, and they're both letting it eat them up. As Famous was smoking his cigarette, clearly bothered, Lou went on to tell Famous to let that truth save you. And a lot of people are thinking that they will be able to arrest Famous for his confession on that record for testimony on lyrics because of the Young Thug case. But we got to understand that the Young Thug case is the exception and not the rule. And because Thug is my favorite rapper, I know he'd been talking about this way before it ever happened, like he knew it was coming, almost like Tupac talking about getting shot. Just check out the songs Tomorrow Till Infinity and Webby by Young Thug, because he talks about it. But getting back to Famous, before the cops would be able to arrest him for murder on testimony on lyrics, he would have to get caught with the murder weapon or something like that for them to be able to make it stick. Also keep in mind that Lou hasn't even finished mixing and mastering the song yet for it to be able to be pushed to the radio for the cops to hear it in the first place. And something could definitely happen to Lou before that song gets that far. Getting me to rock visiting Lou. Lou had been sober for a minute turning down the liquor and just drinking seltzer and staying focused on promoting the club. I'm not sure how much time Lou spent sober but I'm guessing it was at least a week or two that went by. But Rock walked into Club Vu, being as gracious and respectful to Lou as she could be, and apologized to Lou with what I believe was with all sincerity, trying to make her relationship with her little brother right. But Lou refused to accept Rock's apology and make amends, but instead told Rock that she can see herself out. Then as Rock walked out the door, Lou cracked open a bottle of whiskey and took a swig so big that it almost made me throw up just watching. Personally, I got to believe if Lou would have just accepted Rock's apology, a whole lot of healing would have took place with Lou and Rock, and it might have even given Lou the strength to kick the bottle for good. But instead, by Lou rejecting Rock, her apology, and her attempts to make amends, it caused both Lou and Rock to relapse in their own type of way. Lou turning back to the bottle, and Rock turning back to the game. In the same way that I feel like if Lou would have accepted Rock's apology, he wouldn't have started drinking again. I feel like if Lou would have accepted Rock's apology, Rock wouldn't have got back in the game. But Lou told Rock that she is the game. And I think that's the same thing that Kanan told Jukebox about Rock in episode 1. But Lou ended up getting wasted and driving over to Scrappy's mother Chantel's house and confessing that Rock and Marvin killed Scrappy. And that it was his fault because he should have tried harder to stop them. And in my opinion, this is a straight punk move by Lou in every type of way. But especially because the fact he went to Chantel to tell her what Rock and Marvin did instead of going to Dee Wiz's mother to tell her what he did to her son. But it is what it is at this point, and we know from the episode 7 trailer that Chantel's gonna go turn to the police with this information. And here's when it gets tricky. I don't know how many people watching this video is familiar with the show The Shy, but an alcoholic named Ronnie found himself in a very similar situation to Lou, where he killed a kid on accident thinking the boy he killed was the kid who killed his stepson, but he wasn't. And the guilt ate at Ronnie to the point where he got drunk, confessed to a cop, and went to prison. But Ronnie eventually beat this case because of the fact that he was intoxicated at the time of his confession. So this case had to be thrown out. So with that said, Chantel might be able to point the cops in the right direction, but it won't be enough to make an arrest. 
We also know from the episode 7 trailer that Howard will be the one to talk to Chantel when she comes to snitch on Rock for what Lou is telling her. But I don't think this will be enough for Rock to want to kill her brother. Keep in mind when Sal Baselli wanted Rock to offer up her brother Marvin to avoid going to war, she refused. And I don't see Rock going out like that, killing her own brother, or even make Marvin do that. But Rock will definitely talk to Marvin about it, and Marvin's going to show up at Lou's apartment or Club Vu and give Lou a brotherly whooping, and tell Lou that he has to make this right by taking out Chantel, Scrappy's mother. Then keep in mind what OG Kanan said at the end of episode 6 when Lou was confessing to Chantel. As hard as you may try to change, you ain't ever going to be anything but you. So I think this is definitely a clue that Lou will end up killing Chantel just to have another body eating at him. But at the same time, I feel like there's a coin flip chance that Lou will not have a chance to redeem himself, but he will be the one who gets smoked in episode 7. And I have three possible killers, first being Chantel. Like I said, Marvin is going to try to force Lou to kill Chantel. But I think Chantel will be ready for him or for one of the Thomases, knowing how they operate. And she will kill Lulu when he breaks into her house before he's able to smoke her. Or possibly, Lou won't even have it in him to take out Chantel after he breaks in, and she will kill him instead. Keep in mind that the shirt that Lou has on when he's getting roughed up by Marvin is the same shirt that he has on in the teaser when he has the gun to his head. But if Chantel isn't the one to take out Lou, then I think another possibility could be Famous catching his second body. Keep in mind how I started out this video with Famous giving his confession on record. After Kanan told him to bury it and never bring it up again. Then add the fact that Famous is going to be introduced to Ronnie in episode 7 with Ronnie scaring the out of Famous by telling him that Kanan told him that he likes to run his mouth. This could be Ronnie intimidating Famous, asking him if he told what he did to Freddy to anybody else or something like that. Which would then cause Famous to want to talk to Lulu about getting rid of the song 411 that he just recorded. But Lou might end up telling Famous not to worry about anything and that he's going to turn the song into the radio. Which would force Famous's hand to cause him to kill Lou so Ronnie and Kanan don't end up hearing that song. Also keep in mind that the gun that Lou has to his head in the teaser looks a lot like Palomar's gun that Famous used to smoke Freddy with. And my last person that I have who might end up smoking Lou in episode 7 is Malcolm Howard. The episode 7 trailer shows Howard telling Rock that her brother is an idiot. And because Rock won't have an inner to kill her own brother, I could definitely see Howard doing what Rock can't do. Because he would simply see Lulu as a loose end. Especially because the fact that he is an accomplice in this crime by telling Rock that Scrap was a snitch. And we know out of the three Thomas siblings that Lou is the one who almost guaranteed doesn't make it. Because the fact that in power when Kanan first got out of prison, it looks like he was walking around in a few of Lou's coats. Like Kanan inherited Lulu's coat collection after he died. Lou's death also moves the storyline forward by giving Rock and Marvin the opportunity to run their new heroin operation out of Club Vu. And there you have it. Will Lou die in Episode 7? Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.